Michael Heck, GNO Inc. Uh, so it's been about a year or so since you and I chatted online in the Google Hangout. So happy Google Hangout to you. Thank you. I, I, I miss my Google Hangouts. We don't Google Hangout enough. I, that, that's the truth. Absolutely. So in the last year or so, tell, tell us what's been going on. I know that uh, last year, uh, last year certainly was a real winner. I was at the uh, uh, annual luncheon. Uh, just give us an overview, if you don't mind. Well, really, things have only accelerated since last year. Um, on the business development front, of course, we had the announcement yesterday of Yu Wang Chemical uh, coming into St. James, about a $2 billion project, uh, about 450 direct jobs, 2,700 total jobs. But the real significance of this project is that it is the first mainland Chinese investment in Louisiana history. And so it means that in the future we might see many more of these projects, of course, there's massive demand and a potential economic impact uh, from, from China. Uh, then not too long ago, we had the Chiquita Banana announcement, uh, which was very exciting because it marks the return of Chiquita Banana uh, to New Orleans. Uh, they were gone, I think, in 1973. And Chiquita Banana, which was United Fruit, has a tremendous history um, in New Orleans. They were actually built a lot of Tulane University. In fact, uh, President Cowan's, now President Fitz's uh, house, uh, was actually the Zamuri House uh, built by the founder of, uh, of United Fruit. Uh, international Shipholding also came back, an iconic New Orleans company that left after Katrina went to Mobile, uh, recently came back, is taking up a new uh, warehouse uh, in South Peters, and they're going to begin operating out of here again. So what's really nice is that some of these great companies, uh, like Rain CII also came back from Houston, are returning uh, to the region. And going forward, we're going to have many more announcements uh, in technology, uh, in heavy industry, and so forth. Um, also, last night I was at an event sponsored by Boeing celebrating that the mission to Mars is being built uh, at Mishu. What's happened at Mishu, Steve, and um, you know, we were worried sure. a few years ago the space shuttle was ending. We didn't know what the future was going to hold for math. Well, now it's become a great public-private facility where you have the mission to Mars being built. You also have great private companies there. Uh, making drones, making windmill blades, as well as even movies being shot at, at Mishu. On the policy front, uh, probably the most significant one was national flood insurance, where sure. actually um, out of this office um, really wasn't something we knew that we were getting into. We got into it, but over the course of a year, we were able to develop a coalition of over 250 organizations across 35 states, and we were able to uh, kind of catch lightning in a bottle and drive some bipartisan, bicameral legislation to fix uh, the unintended consequences of bigger waters and save not just Louisiana, but really a lot of parts uh, of, of, our, of our nation. So it's been um, you know, an incredibly dense year. Um, the ranking awards uh, keep coming in. Probably the one that I'm, there's two that I'm most proud of. Uh, one is there's a magazine called CEO Magazine, which apparently CEOs read. Um, and it does a national ranking every year, a survey of what CEOs think or where CEOs think are the best states to do business. Uh, now, can you guess what state wins every year for the past 10 years? Uh, North Dakota. No, North Dakota is actually up there now. Why but it's Texas. That's why I said it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I wasn't uh, uh, pushed off a banana truck, you know. No, you, you were not. Now, if you went to North Dakota, Steve, would you go to one of those uh, man camps? Oh, no, listen, I've never been up there. All right. I've been to a man. I, I just happen to know these things. <laughs> you, you are translucent. You know everything. I, I'll um, tell you. But, uh, but so, the, so this ranking comes out every year. And uh, back in 2007, Louisiana was 47th in the nation. So who do you think was worse than us in the nation? Who's, who's, who was, what are the places that apparently worse uh, CEOs, states, CEOs like the least? Okay, that's, uh, this is Jeopardy, right? Uh, uh, Mississippi and Alabama is going. Uh, is go, now those what? are the two suspects. Yeah, but, but but business likes Mississippi and Alabama. They've got all they the should. auto manufacturing. Yeah, but think about like ta high taxes, California, and New okay. York. Right? And in, in back in two thousand seven, it was California, New York, and Illinois the worst, and then Louisiana. Well, eight years later went from number 47 to breaking the top 10, number 9. So we've gone from the worst quintile to the best quintile mm -hmm. in just eight years.
years. And what I like about that is that that's a perception survey. So it means that not only is the reality changing here on the ground, and I really have to give the governor a lot of credit for that. It started with him and his administration and Stephen um, Moray uh, at the state. But the perception is changing, and that, of course, is really what drives things at the end of the day. The other survey that I love, it's actually a ranking, it's not, it's, it's empirical, is Southern Business and Development did a ranking of what places have had the most economic development wins over the past 20 years. Well, in the mid-range market between a million and two million people, guess where New Orleans came in? Number three. Yeah, we came in number two, beat out only by Charlotte for the past 20 years. Now, that's, I think, pretty shocking. Oh, in yeah, another. heck yes, absolutely. I, I, I think that there's so many people who have done a really terrific job.